seeing through windows and frames, light, and <coughs> blink points, noticing blink points, and noticing eye accessing cues and seeing what comes out of that. And then beyond that, there's also what people say about their personality or their soul and how they feel about being asked those questions. I feel like with all of those elements at play, they can get the technicalities right, it should be really, really interesting and compelling. Day one of II. Well, with regard to my personality, I think that I'm sorry, I'm going to have to blink here. Um, that um, probably it's an eclipse. I think that's a good word to use. Most of the time it's an eclipse. In fact, I think the older one gets, the more an eclipse it becomes. And uh, what about the soul? Uh, I think that's an interesting one. I think it's quite, um, quite an interesting area. It's sort of like plunging into a, a deep hole and um, being surprised what you find. What do I think about doing this? Um, I think it's quite intriguing, except that I am quite ready not to have any bright light shining in my eyes at any moment now. personality? How would you describe or think about your soul or spirit or what thoughts do you have attached to that? And then just how do you feel about thinking about or answering those questions when you are already? Okay. What do I think about my personality? said that they found it hard on some level to answer those questions which I mean they're questions about ourselves somebody asking us about ourselves seems to be really difficult and yeah that's surprised me so do you, do you get anything from watching it back like well, you're going into your mind, aren't you? I suppose I had to see myself to go, right, well, something quite funny, okay. Yeah, well, that's the thing. The idea is that you think about your personality as something you already know or you've got an opinion about anyway. Mm -hmm. And then to think about your soul or spirit, whatever you think about that, it's an abstract. Yeah. So you're gonna go, you've you got to access something else. And then how you feel about all of that is a whole other yeah. thing. So I don't feel like I want to ask any more questions. It feels like that's enough. My soul, I don't know, I've never really thought about my soul. Um, I'm quite free-spirited, loving. It probably makes me question what layering I understand of myself. I haven't really dug very deep dug. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, it's all right, it's not a test. Um, I don't know. So I think 
Personally, I'm quite a bubbly person. I kind of borderline on confident. Sometimes I'm not so confident. And I don't, I'm quite selfless most of the time. Is it time? Um, I think my personality is quite bubbly, um, impulsive sometimes to my own, own de detriment. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm a horrible person, but uh, yeah, I've been quite warm and kind. Um, and I don't know what else to say. I think my personality I think my personality... Oh, I can't do it. You don't have to keep your eyes still, just keep oh, okay. your head still. It's your head that needs to stay in the I don't know really. I don't ever really think about it myself, but I do know that my personality does change because I probably am a lot more quieter, like for instance, in university than what I am when I'm with my friends or socially speaking. I can't help it, my eyes, my eyes just dot around. And the other thing that's come out of it that has surprised me is that an amazing majority of people seem to have said when they were asked about soul or spirit, I don't think I've got one. It surprised me a little bit how many people I know who come from that place. Um, it's not a place that I come from and I didn't really intend to... people on the spot in that way, like, to ask them to own up about something. I, I'm, I was generally, genuinely curious what people would say. And how was I, how do I feel about being asked to do this? Um, being put on the spot with these kind of questions is difficult um, and I'm sure if I had more time to think about it I'd give you completely different answers um, but it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable I feel like I can answer I answer with the the knowledge I have at, the, at that moment That's all I can do. And your soul or spirit, any thoughts you have or don't have about that? Any thoughts I have about my soul? Well, as, as you said, uh, like the eyes at the window of my soul. <laughs> so what does that mean to you then? Well, actually, you can, I think that's what you're trying to do, right? To, to see through the people's uh, feelings or to see how, how, how the AI is representing the way we, we are communicating, I guess. My soul of spirit. Oh. I don't believe in any soul or spirits of any kind, to be honest. I just believe I'm a piece of meat. The piece was meant to be about what happens with people's eyes when they think about their personality, which they already have some kind of an opinion on. Actually, that seemed to be very difficult for a lot of people. Uh, soul or spirit, I expected it to be abstract and for something to go on with the eye when people were thinking about that. And in some ways, for me, the most interesting response has been the last one. How do people feel about being asked those questions? And I have to admit that I think I've spent a long time in personal development seminars and um, 
Shamanic ceremony, all kinds of things where I've got used to spilling the beans really and a lot of people really aren't. And so I've got to hold my hands up to that one as well. Um, it wasn't my intention to make people feel awkward for the sake of it. I was just curious. Yeah, intimacy is a quality that I put down that I wanted to capture, create. And I've been working with this phrase intimacy as into me see for some time. And I think out of all of the things that I put down on my original plan, I've captured that. It feels very intimate and it is around into me see. And well, I just hope you enjoy it. I really, I mean, it's such a cliche, corny thing to say to finish off. And it feels like it's a gift. I wanted it to be a gift to those who watch it, that maybe they come away feeling okay about something, reassured on some level. I don't really know what that means. That's for you to decide. So thanks for watching, and I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And, yeah, it's all the great cliches, isn't it? I enjoyed doing it, um, glad it's ended because it's time for it to stop now and I guess this is the start of Lion He Art and I don't know what's going to happen next but um, MA in Digital Media Arts 2012, thank you and goodbye.